Well, hello, farming friends, and welcome back to another edition of Farm and Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. So today's farm sim video is going to cover Manchester and how to install it and get it to work. Um, I just get so many messages and emails a day on this uh, map and people not being able to get it to work that it just... Uh, I beat my head against the wall sometimes, wishing that they would fix it so it, it, it would work right. They actually have modified it slightly, but there still is an issue with it. So today, I'm going to help you guys out and do a little quick video on where the problem is and what you need to do. So uh, here's my farm sim, and just to show you guys where we're at, I'm going to create a little game. And as you see, I don't have Manchester in here currently. So we are going to set up so that we can actually get it into the game. Now, I've gone to American Eagles Modding. You create the account there, and you download Manchester Map 4.0, Soul Mod Ready, and this says Extract on it if you actually see that. So that is the zip file that you download. Now, with any file that you download mod-wise that you're going to put into your game, the first thing you should always do is explore that zip just to see what's within it. Maybe there's an executable file in there that could be a virus and you don't want to see that. So it's always a good rule of thumb to explore the download that you got just to make sure what's in there. If you see a whole lot of other compressed archives where it says WinRAR zip archive or it'll say WinZip archive or whatever, if you see a whole lot more little archives, you know you have to extract this file because you cannot put a zip with a whole lot of more zips into your mods folder and expect it to work. It's just not going to. So we know we have to extract this. So I'm going to go ahead and extract this files out and I'm going to hit OK and it's just going to create a folder here within this and I'm going to jump into that and that'll be where we go next. So we go in and here are all the files. There's a little readme here. If there's usually a readme within one, it's usually a good idea to read it. Uh, it might tell you what to do. Um, of course, this one uh, doesn't tell you a whole lot other than extract the main download, put all the zip files into your mods folder. Uh, that's incorrect as well, but that's okay. Um, here's the deal. In here, you've got the Manchester map. Okay, this is the map that you're going to be using. You can tell it's a big honking file. Then you've got your soul mod. In case you don't already have soul mod downloaded, he includes a copy of it. Then he's got some multi-fruit things to which add in your soybean and your uh, uh, oats. And then you've got your chop straw mod, which gives you that chop straw coming out of your combine. You can either use that or not use it. It does add a little bit to the soul mod, but it also does add a lot of stress on your frames. Um, you know, just because it's so much texture on the ground. Uh, then your two soul mod, these two you have to have. Uh, if you don't have multi-fruit and multi-fruit module standard, you do have to have those if you want to use a map that has multi-fruit in it. And then the last is a Ghoulie Mist mod. Here's the big thing you need to know. If you're using soul management and you want to run the soul mod like I do, you just put the soul management file in with the map and the, um, and the multi-fruit stuff. You do not use the Ghoulie Mist mod. If you're not going to do Soul mod, but you still want to be able to utilize the line that's on the map, you have to put the Ghoulie Mist mod, at, mod in. So the, the thing is, is these two files here will conflict with one another if you put them both in. So you can have one or the other. You can either have Soul Management or Ghoulie Mist mod. You can't have both. So if you want Soul mod, you use Soul Management. If you want vanilla, but I want to use lime, you use the Ghoulie Mist mod. It's that simple. All right. So here's our actual file that we're going to need to put Manchester into the game. And normally you would just drag and drop that into your mods folder. You'd be good to go and you would launch up Farm Sim and everything would be hunky dory. Now I'm going to show you that that isn't so um, just because I want to be thorough on this and I want everybody to see exactly what's happening because uh, a lot of you guys get to this point you you put the file in and now you're wondering why it doesn't show up because you go to career and you go to start a game in career mode and you come in here and look 
there is no Manchester. What we do wrong, and this is usually where my email address comes in handy and people start sending me messages. Here's the problem. If we go into the mods folder and we scroll down to Manchester, and where it's at, which is right in here somewhere. Come on. There we go. All right. There's the file that we put in. The problem is the period right here between the four and the zero. And that's all it is. And you can rename this file and you can move on and you'll be a happy day. So right click on it, hit rename, go inside, delete the period. So now it just says Manchester underscore map 40 underscore soul mod ready. You can rename it whatever you want it. You can name it My Little Pony. You could name it Manchester. You could name it, I wish they'd fix this file name so I don't have any more problems. Uh, whatever you do, you just don't put a period in there. You can rename it and it's going to work great. Okay? So now that that is done, I am going to go into Steam. I'm going to go into Farm Simulator. It's going to open up. And this time when I go to career to create a, uh, a farm, it is actually going to show up in the list for us. So I go down here to field 19 and look at there, Manchester, it's listed. That's it. That's all you had to do is take out one stupid period out of the title of the mod and uh, it will work for you guys. So anyways. Hope you guys found that interesting and helpful for all the folks who can't get this mod to run on their uh, computer. Um, yeah, that's it. And that's uh, that's our video. I hope you guys, uh, hope that helps you out and um, enjoy the map. All right, take it easy. I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Until then, stay safe. Have a good day. Bye-bye.